Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. Today I'm going to share with you guys an easy and beautiful Christmas DIYs using only Jenga blocks and you guys can get it from Dollar Tree. So let's start with the first project. I'm going to be using four pieces and to paint it, we're going to be using the Rustoleum chalk paint on color white. I got this paint from Walmart and I just did one coat and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well the next thing we're gonna be using these sticker letters that i got also from dollar tree i'm gonna be spelling the word joy and i first did one cut on my patch and i just placed the stickers and once i was done i just did another coat to seal really well the stickers on the top i'm gonna be using a piece of this white jute twine and i just cut a small piece to place it on the back so we can hang this adorable ornament and the last thing that I use it's one piece of these red berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I just put one on the top and to give this a snow effect to the top of the berry I just use a little bit of the white paint and that's the only thing that I did for this adorable ornament they look so beautiful but please let me know what you guys think For the next project, I'm going to reuse a piece of wood that I have, but don't worry, you guys can create this adorable snowman with a few pieces of the jingle blocks. So to paint it, we're using the Restolen paint on color white. I'm going to grab a piece of this crafter square fabric that I got at my Dollar Tree, and I'm not sure if I got it last year or this year. I just found it on my stash, and I'm like, it's the perfect fabric to recreate the hat of the snowman so I just cut a piece and I just glue it on the top of the wood piece and I just grab a piece of this white yarn that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a piece and I just wrap it around so it can tie really well on the top and also to give the shape of a hat you know and the other thing that I decide on the top of the fabric I decide to use my scissor just to cut it so it can have like kind of messy bone on the top and a little bit of the detail on the top I don't know how to call it you know but I'm pretty sure you guys can have an idea what I did on the top of the hat of the snowman and to paint the eyes and also to give the details of the mouth I'm using the craft wise chalkboard paint on color ink and this tool that I got from Dollar Tree and it was just perfect because the tip of the little tool it's kind of like a round thing so I just put a little bit of the paint and also I did that eyebrow and the nose and for the nose I just used the deco art paint on color orange I was afraid to do this adorable project because I'm not really Really good at painting or drawing it was so easy to create this adorable snowman that I'm pretty sure you guys can recreate it and also I grabbed a piece of the ribbon so we can give like the detail of the scarf you know because it was missing a scarf this snowman so I just cut a piece and I just glued the pieces together and to put the buttons I grabbed this small white pom-poms and I just placed three of them but I didn't like it because you can see right now in the video it doesn't show really well you know I just decide to paint it so it can pop a little bit more and I create another simple bow and I place it on the top of the bow I also grab this beautiful green button and it turned out adorable and you guys can place like a piece of your toy so you guys can hang this adorable snowman on your tree or you guys can just leave it how it is right now and just put place it for a two tray. Let me know what you guys think. For 
For the next DIY, we're going to be using nine pieces of the Jingle Blocks. We're going to create this adorable hat. And to glue the pieces, I just use a little bit of the hat glue with wood glue so they can have a permanent hold. The other thing that I did, I used a little bit of the spackling just to cover between, you know, like the pieces of the Jingle Blocks. And I just let it dry. And the paint that we're going to be using, they're going to be three paint the first one it's the waverly chuck paint on color moss the second one is the bristolian chuck paint on color white and the last one is the craft white chalkboard paint on color ink and once they were completely dry i decided to distress it a little bit and for that i just used the same paint The next thing that I did, I grabbed one piece of that ribbon and I just placed it. And the last thing that I did, I grabbed a few pieces of these red berries and with a few pieces of these greenery and I just place it on one side and to give that snow effect to the red berries, I just use a little bit of that white paint. I grabbed one piece of that jute twine and I just glue it on the back and that's the only thing that I did for this adorable hat. And you guys can paint it at different colors. I just choose these colors because they go really well with my home decor. But please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about these adorable hats? For the next project, I'm going to grab four pieces and to paint it, we're going to be using the Waverly Anti-Wax. I just used a piece of this bath sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and I did one coat and I just let it dry. I just grabbed four pieces of this tissue paper wrap that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut four pieces and I did first one coat on my patch and I just placed the tissue paper and once I was done I did another coat on the top so we can seal really well the tissue paper and once they're completely dry you guys can see on the edges it still has a little bit of the tissue paper and for that it's really simple I just grab a piece of the sandpaper and I just remove the extra paper I just grabbed a small piece of this diamond wrap that I got from Dollar Tree and to distress it a little bit more, I just used the Ristolian paint on color white. And the last thing that I grab, one piece of this jute twine and I just place it on the top so it can have a hanger so we can hang these beautiful ornaments. And that was the only thing that I did. They turned out really beautiful. I love it. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about these other ornaments? For the next DIY, I'm gonna use 10 pieces of the Jingle Blocks and we're gonna create this beautiful Christmas tree. This Christmas tree, it was my favorite that I created so far. So first, let's glue all the pieces together and I just wanna show you how I glue all the pieces together first so you guys can have an idea how I glue all the pieces. Thank you. 
I'm gonna reuse this piece of wood that I have but you guys can create this base with a few pieces of the jingle blocks and I'm just gonna glue that tree on the top and to reinforce it way better I grab one wood cube and place it on the back and it worked amazing because it holds really well with a piece of the wood cube on the back and to paint it we're using the Rustolian paint on color white I decided to wet my brush a little bit so we can give this white wash to the jingle blocks and I love it because I didn't want to cover them all the way with the paint. I also paint the base and also on the back so it has a finished look and I just let it dry. I'm going to be using this shelf liner that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut just a piece and I decide to use a pencil and trace it so we can cut it and it's more easy because we're just gonna glue it on the top you know but you guys can glue it first and you guys can cut it on the end I think it will work perfect you know I just glue it with a little bit of the hot glue and it holds amazing you know because I want a permanent hole but I think it will work fine to to use like mud patch if you guys want to I decide to use a little bit of the Waverly anti wax You guys can see all the details of the shelf liner. It's amazing, you know. And once we distress it a little bit with the anti wax I decide to do the same thing on the base and also on the edges of the jingle blocks. And I create just a simple bow made of that raffia red. It's really beautiful. They come all the three different colors in a pack. And I got it, I'm not sure if last year. And also I grab these red berries and I create another simple and easy bow. And I place it on the top. And this is how it looks, this beautiful Christmas tree. And you guys can create like a smaller ones or bigger one. I think it will look really beautiful to have it in different sizes you know this beautiful christmas tree but please let me know what you guys think For the next project, I'm going to be using a piece of wood that I had and it had a few holes all around the piece of wood. I just grabbed a little bit of the spackling and I just covered those holes. And to paint it, we're using the Deco Art acrylic paint on color red and I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And I just want to mention, if you guys don't have the same piece of wood, you guys can grab a few pieces of the Jingle Blocks and you guys can create this simple and easy project. We're gonna create a Santa. It turned out really adorable. So the next thing, I just gonna grab this white yarn that I got from Dollar Tree. I just put it between my fingers and I just wrap it a few times and I grab another extra piece of that yarn and I just tie it really well. And once we're done creating this tassel, we're gonna glue it on the top of that wood piece and it's completely dry, okay? And I just glue it on the top. It's gonna be like of the beard of the Santa you know but you guys can create it a different way and I grabbed this piece of fabric that I show you that I got it from Dollar Tree and I cut another piece so we can create the hat for the Santa so I just glue it on the top of the wood piece and I grab another piece of the yarn and I just wrap it around of the top of the fabric and also we're gonna cut the pieces of the top so it can give all the detail of the hat you know how we did it with that snowman and you guys can use like any fabric of your choice you know I just found this on my stash I was looking for something else you know so it can have like the snowman and the Santa like kind of different hats I'm gonna give the shape of the beard to the Santa I was not really good at that you know I'm pretty sure you guys can create the beard way better than I did you know for me I'm like I think it's way better just to create just a top so you know
And for the nose, you guys can just grab one red berry. I think it will look perfect. But I decided to grab this wood bead and I just place it on the top. It was already on the color. And it comes in a pack of few colors from wood beads from Dollar Tree. And for the feet, I just cut a piece of the cardboard and I just keep the shape of the feet and I just glue it on the bottom. And I create another simple bow. And also the last thing that I did, I just just grab that raffia and I just create another simple bow and I decide to use that beautiful green button and place it on the top of the raffia and that's the only thing that I did for this adorable Santa. I just love it so much and you guys can grab just a piece of jute twine and place it on the back and you guys can use this adorable ornament for your Christmas tree. For the next DIY, I'm going to grab four pieces of the Jingle Blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. We're going to create a small frame and I'm just going to use my glue gun to glue all the pieces together. And once I glue all my pieces together, it's time to paint it. And for that, I'm using the Craft Wise Chalkboard Paint on Color Ink. This paint, I got it at my Dollar Tree. But if you guys don't have the same paint, you guys can use any paint of your preference and I just did one coat and I just put it to a size so it can dry completely. The next thing, we're going to reuse a piece of cardboard that I have. I just remove it from a back of the picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree. And it was just perfect because it was already on color black. But if you guys want to, you guys can paint it. And I just put the small frame on the top and I just trace it and I just cut it to the side that I need. And I'm just going to glue it on the back. And once I glue it, you guys can put anything inside you guys can grab like a few pieces of the red berries white berries or any sticker or you guys can use like these snow stickers that Dollar Tree has of the wood pieces there's so many options you guys can use to put inside I want to give you the first option I just place a sticker inside and also I decide to paint on the back because my eyes were not happy to see the cardboard on the back Back. I'm like let me use the same paint and once I paint it it was just perfect you can even see it would use a piece of cardboard on the back and also I grab a piece of sandpaper to distress it a little bit on the edges and it turned out amazing once I distress it because you can see the wood under and you guys know me that I love to distress all my pieces and here it comes the second option that I have I just grab these red berries and I just just grab a few of those red berries and I glue it and I create just a simple bow and place it on the top and to give that snow effect to the berries I just use the Rust-Oleum paint and it turned out really adorable I love the second option way better than the first one but like I said you guys have so many options if you guys want to you guys can put a piece of jute twine on the back and you guys can place it on your Christmas tree or the other option that you guys have you can place this adorable ornament for a tea tray I think it will look beautiful but please let me know what you guys think For the next project, I just grab five pieces of the Jingle Blocks and I just glue all the pieces together. We're going to create another beautiful ornament. And you guys can see how I glue the pieces together. And to paint it, we're going to go over with the rust paint. But you guys can use any paint of your preference and I think it will look beautiful, this ornament that we're going to create. I just did one coat and I just let it dry.
And I just want to show you, I just have these stickers on hand and I'm going to grab this beautiful sticker and I just use a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it way better. And I grab another sticker to place it on the other side. So I just want to show you this adorable ornament to set project so you guys can have a little bit more options. And to distress it on the edges, I went over with the Waverly Anti-Wax. My eyes they were not happy just with all the white you know so I'm like let me distress it a little bit it gives so much detail on the edges and also I create just a simple bow and I just place it on one side and I'm like let me grab just a few pieces of the red berries you know like just to keep more detail you know and it was just perfect I just love it this two side project you guys can place a piece of jute twine also on the back so you guys can hang this adorable ornament or you guys can just leave it with two side project and it's just perfect for a tier tray let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a favor for this two side project For the last project, we're going to be using four pieces of the Jingle Blocks and I'm just going to create another adorable ornament. I want to show you in a minute the difference between the first one and this other one, how I glue the pieces because the first one, it's a little bit smaller, the frame, and this one, it's a little bit bigger. Can you guys see the difference? And to paint it, we're going to be using the Waverly Paint on Color Moss and this this paint I got it at Walmart but you guys can use any paint that you guys have on hand. I just did one coat and I just let it dry really well and also I just grabbed another piece of the cardboard and I just trace it to the side of the small frame and I just glue it on the back and once I glue it I'm gonna be using this sticker that I had. You guys can use anything to put inside or you guys can even put like any words that you guys want to and to paint it on the back I use the same paint because I didn't like it. You can see that we use a piece of cardboard, you know. And also, I decide to distress it a little bit more. It turns out really beautiful, my pieces, once I distress it. Like I always mention, if you guys don't love to distress your pieces, you guys can skip this step. And I want to show you a second option. I grab this other sticker and I just place it in the middle. But this time, I'm going to use a little bit of the haggle so it can hold it way better. And I create just a simple bow and I place it on the top of the ornament and I grab a few pieces of the red berries and I place it on the top of the bow and to give the effect of the snow I just grab a little bit of the Rustoleum paint. I love way better the second option because it has more detail inside and you guys can grab just a piece of jute twine and place it on the back and you guys can use this adorable ornament for your Christmas tree or just leave it how it is and I think it will just be perfect for a tree tray but please let me know in the comments down below with all the projects that I create for you guys today which one it was your favorite so that was it for today's video thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that i love new video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook and tiktok thank you so much and have an amazing day